congratulations on the film. Thanks. Where do you even begin uh, whenever, you know, you're told uh, I'm going to be directing uh, Robert De Niro mm -hmm. and Sylvester Stallone? How do you direct uh, two acting legends like that? Well, um, cautiously. Uh, I, I remember uh, an actor once said, directing is not knowing what to say, it's knowing when to say it. Um, and so I think with two guys with a, a body of work like they have, uh, who've also directed themselves, um, I, I think you just spend a lot of time talking about the story and the characters in pre-production. And by the time you get to the set, there's an understanding of the arc of what you're trying to do. And so you're just working on minutia, just details. And there are obviously some lovely nods to uh, Rocky mm -hmm. and Raging Bull throughout the film. But how important was it for you and the actors as well not to sort of spill over into parody? And, you know, how is it to balance that fine line between the two? We, we absolutely did not want to start out um, doing a parody. And, and that's what Sly was, uh, you know, cautious about. Um, <clears throat> but we wanted to craft a, a very original story. However, we knew that it was just, you know, too delicious an opportunity to not at least wink uh, and there's a big difference between winking and parody. I mean, I did Naked Gun. That is a, a movie about parodies. Um, but very late in the process, we came up with the, the joke about drinking the eggs. And I was concerned. I didn't know how Sly was going to react to that. But he laughed and said, this is great. Let's do one more so it's not just hanging out there. Um, and so we came up with the meat locker scene. And, and that's where we stopped. You know, we didn't want to you know, go, go any further than that. Um, and I think, you know, sometimes, you know, in, in some of the commercials you see, you see those things and, and it gives the appearance that, you know, we are doing a spoof, but, but we were very cautious, you know, and, and wanted to make a, an original story. So Sylvester Stallone didn't mind doing the eggs, because that's one of the moments that sticks with me uh, from Rocky, just because it, it looks yeah. horrible. I've never tried it. But uh, you didn't like make him do like seven or eight takes of that thing? I have to admit, um, we had to do two takes, because the first take, uh, drinking the eggs, he laughed before I could get the scissors in and, and yell cut. And everyone was high-fiving and said, oh, Sly drank the eggs, how awesome, this is gonna be great. And I said, I, I can't use it. And so I, I had to go up to Sly and said, dude, I am so sorry, but you gotta do it again. And uh, just to make things worse, um, Alan Arkin kind of lost count. He was supposed to put four eggs in the glass and I think it got up to seven uh, by the time Sly entered the room. And so he drank, I think, you know, over a dozen eggs that morning. <laughs> Alan Arkin did that on purpose. I'm I think sure, so, I'm sure yeah. he did. And uh, if, and I'm not saying they do, but if they had a grudge in real life, who do you think could win a genuine boxing match between Robert De Niro and Sylvester Stallone? I think... I won't uh, tell them. I won't tell no, them no, I, I think uh, Sly might win, but he would get whacked on the way home. So... Um, that's a, that's a pretty definitive yeah, answer. Yeah. And you can probably tell, I came up with most of these toilets while I was sitting on the toilet yesterday. <laughs> or sorry, most of these questions. While, no. What do you like to read? Most of these toilets on the question. these toilets. Yeah, Freudian yes. slip. What do you like to read whenever you're sitting down relaxing on the toilet? Wow, I, I don't. Because I've, I've heard that that uh, can lead to health problems. So you just like want to touch and go. Touch and go, perfect. <laughs> and uh, one very final question. I know you've worked with a lot of legends, including Stallone and De Niro. Um, but the one in particular, uh, what was it like to work with Leslie Nielsen? Leslie Nielsen um, was a fascinating man to work with. Uh, I thought he would be the most hilarious person in real life, but he's, he's very serious, except for that little fart cushion joke thing that he would always go around with. But, um, you know, David Zucker really um, designed those movies, you know, to bring in dramatic actors and put them in ridiculous situations. And so he created this whole persona for a very dramatic actor who appeared to be, you know, the funniest guy on the planet. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure, Peter. Thanks Thank for talking you. to us today. Nice meeting Cheers. you. Cheers. Gutsy move going without a bra. I took a dump on your porch. Hey, we are live, guys. We are live right now. Hey, Webster, show a little respect. I choose to believe that you just called me Webster because of my dictionary-sized vocabulary, not because of my height and race. Nope, it's because you're short and black. What was Jesus like? I'm curious. Was he cool?